Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Pastor Matthew and welcome to Grace Every Morning. In case you do not know me, I'm the one who is leading the healing room ministry of Grace Assembly. I'm so glad to bring you this morning's devotional. If this is your first time joining us, we are currently on day 8 of the 40-day journey of prayer for our nation, Singapore. You know, I just feel that this is such an important journey that we are embarking on and I thank you for praying along with the church. The title for today's sharing is Saints and Statesmen. And the scripture text we'll be using will be from Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 4 to verse 8. I encourage you to read the full passage on your own after this devotional. But for now, I would like to highlight the end of verse 8. Let me just read it for you. Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 8b. And the king granted this request because the gracious hand of God was on me. During the time of Nehemiah, the Israelites were on exile. Even though the Israelites were technically prisoners of war, the king of Persia treated them really well. This is highly unusual. For example, Esther, who is an Israelite, she even became queen. That's why we have Queen Esther, right? We can see that even when the Israelites were on exile, the grace of God was still on them. Now, there's this person called Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a lay person, meaning he is not a priest. He served the Persian king in a secular position. In our present time, he can be likened to be a marketplace person. And the Lord said it in his heart to go back to Jerusalem and reconstruct the walls of his homeland. We read that he prayed to God and after that he went to ask the king for permission. Now we need to understand, at that time, the Israelites were still technically prisoners of war. To ask such a thing from the king is just totally crazy, right? Well, the crazier thing is that the king actually agreed to his request. Here, we see the great importance of the favour of God. Throughout the pandemic, we see that Singapore is managing really well. I mean, just look at the world news and compare it for yourself. The challenges are real and we can see the effort put in to contain the spread of the virus. Throughout all this, we can really see the grace of God upon Singapore. I hope that you agree. Well, today, I would like to lead us to pray. But before I lead you to pray, you will pray first. How about that, yeah? I have three pointers that we can pray about. Number one, pray for more marketplace ministers to rise up. Number two, pray for the favour of God to rest on us. Number three, pray for Singapore, that Singapore will reach out to help the other nations. Amen. Right now, I will give you 30 seconds to pray over these items yourself before I lead you in prayer. Are you ready? You may begin now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let me lead you in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for raising up Singapore to be the Asia hub of many businesses. I pray that among them will arise marketplace ministers, people who do well in their workplaces and have a heart to build the kingdom of God. If you are in the marketplace and this devotional reading speaks to you, you probably have a heart to build the kingdom of God. I would like to pray for you right now. Why don't you find a safe place, lift our hands and let me pray over you right now. Lord, I pray for your favour to rest upon my brothers and sisters. Just like how it is with Nehemiah and the king of Persia, let it be the same with them in their workplaces. Give us the privilege to see ideas and vision that you have put in our heads become reality. Let your favour rest on us in Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, join me as we pray for Singapore. Lord, we thank you for your grace and mercy upon this nation. We thank you for the peace and stability that we have enjoyed. 
We pray that as Singapore experiences the favour of God, we will reach out to help the other nations. We acknowledge that we are blessed to be a blessing. I pray that you will use Singapore to be a channel of your blessings to the nations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today on Grace Every Morning as we engage in 40 days of prayer for the nation. Do visit lovesingapore.org.sg for the written devotional and gather in your grace group of families to pray for Singapore this week. Have a blessed day ahead.